Hey everybody, this is Aaron Anto, and this is my unboxing of the Red Epic W. So just a little background on my Red journey. So I originally had pre-ordered the Red Raven uh, back in January 2016. And if you've heard at all about any of the issues that Red has had, they um, back-ordered pretty much all the Ravens for uh, sensor issues and whatnot. And so a year passed and it was January of this year, 2017, and I decided to switch over to the uh, Red Scarlet W. Uh, and then shortly after that, I realized that I was, that I was uh, eligible for the upgrade pricing for the Red Epic W. So I pretty much went to that, you know, I was, I was like, well, if I'm gonna get a red, I might as well go big, right? So I got the red FW, which, have, which is of course their 8K uh, helium sensor camera. So after about a week of, after I switched the order, I got almost all my parts in. So this is the unboxing of the red Epic. So this is the case that comes in first. Uh, it is pretty much like a bulletproof, shockproof, smash proof case. I mean, this case is, has like metal reinforcements. I mean, it's crazy. Um, it's really only going to be good for just storing the camera body itself. So not too practical to bring um, with you like on set or anything because it just holds the brain. So, but you know, it's really cool to store the brain in if you need to. So um, yeah, it already has like pre-cut foam, so you can actually take out this piece here so that you can just put the camera inside the case if you have a lens mount also attached. But that, as it comes, uh, it, it doesn't have the lens mount attached. So go ahead and take it out. And here it is. So it actually, everybody always says how much smaller the camera is in real life. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty compact and yeah, it's just pretty amazing. Like what Red is able to stuff in this little brain, uh, considering what it does. So, uh, go ahead and show you the different sides of it. So this is the front. This is the plate that's covering up the sensor right now. And I'll install the lens mount for it later. It, uh, you can use uh, PL mount, Canon mount, and Nikon mount. And I got the Canon mount because most of my lenses are Canon or are able to be adapted to Canon. Um, this is the red logo here. This is uh, Epic W. And it has uh, scratch mics here for scratch audio. Uh, and then I think this is the back focus adjustment. And here is obviously the uh, the record button and you have some auxiliary buttons here on the side. Going over to this side, you also have a, re a record button and your power LEDs. And then this side plate here actually can come off and you can install other modules um, in here like a side handle and, and red mix, a couple other accessories that you can install on the side here. For the back, uh, this is where you can attach your expansion um, modules, and um, I got the V-Lock uh, expansion module, and uh, also, yeah, here's the uh, exhaust for the ventilation, the uh, thermal ventilation system, and then there's the seal numbers on the bottom uh, up there as well. On the very top is where you have the fan intakes right here, so make sure you don't block those. And then you have the really cool uh, built-in uh, expansion ports here. And there's some other ports on the sides as well, but these ports make the camera able to uh, connect to accessories without using cables. So it's definitely a really cool add-on and you don't have to have any cables and stuff coming off the camera, so it makes it a lot more nice and neat. Now yeah, on this side, this is where you actually install the the uh, Red Mag Media. So you just insert it right in here, and the media is super tiny. I mean, 
if people thought the camera itself was tiny, I mean, people look at the Red Media compared to like photos on Red's website. Yeah, it's super, super tiny media, but yeah, it goes right in here. And you have some other expansion ports and uh, one of those, here's the expansion port here and uh, mounting points around. And then lastly, this is the bottom, and this is where they have obviously your, your mounting points for uh, connecting to a tripod and whatnot. Okay, well this here is first is the lens mount for the camera. So again, you know, everything is separate on this camera. So everything, you have the option to buy all, all different sorts of modules and accessories for it. So uh, for this one, I decided to get the lens mount for, uh, Nike, uh, for Canon. And uh, yeah, it has the uh, tool with it and the mount itself. I'll give you a look at that. So this is the mount. And the this isn't just an ordinary mount either. Um, the really awesome thing about the red mounts is that they are, um, I forget what the term's called. It's like a, it's like a, a locking, like a, active lock or something like that it's 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 basically you lock the the lens into the mount but then you can screw down this rotating knob as well to even to lock down that lens like super tight so it's like a active lock or passive lock something like that um, I forgot what it's called but yeah it's really great to really lock down that lens and then in the back of course is the all of the electronics. Okay. All right, so here's the base expander and it has the red skull logo on the front. Really cool. Go ahead and open up this guy. All right, so this is the base expander. A good close up on that. So basically, you know, the brain is useless without all of these modules. So um, this is just one module that you can get and this connects to the back of the camera and provides you with all your critical outputs and inputs for the camera. This doesn't have um, XLR input, the, the, uh, the more expensive module does, but I don't plan on recording you know, any kind of serious audio in camera. Uh, this is going to be mostly uh, set up for a studio situation, so I didn't need to spend the extra money on the one that has um, XLR. So, yeah, pretty, you know, everything is pretty small and compact and just, you know, yeah, I mean, and then, just, and then it just has the screws actually built into the unit, so you're not going to be losing your screws, which is great, and you just plop it on the back and screw it in. So. So RED has a couple different kinds of monitors. They got the RED Touch, uh, was it 4.7, and they also have a 7-inch version. And these are touchscreens, and it's pretty critical for they to be for the monitors to be touchscreens because all the RED menus are controlled by the touchscreen. So there is a, a module that you can get for the side of the camera that gives you controls. But really, like you gotta have one of these red monitors to be able to control the camera. So this is the module here, and like I said before, it just has these little pins that you just plop the camera into the top, or you plug the monitor into the top of the camera, lock it down, and boom! I mean, it's powered and ready to go. So really. Really awesome design there. This is the Feelock battery module. So, for some reason, they put a lot extra foam in this one. To really, I mean, this thing is like overkill of packing foam, but yeah. This is the battery, uh, the VLUC battery module. So I will attach this to the back of the expansion module 
and that will allow me to use VLAC batteries on the camera. straightforward here's the reader Let's go ahead and just show you the reader itself real quick. So this is the reader. It has a Firewire eSATA USB 3.0 ports on there. To transfer the media. And there's the front. Okay. Yep, so this is the little top handle. So this is the, I think this is the smallest handle that you can get for the red. And uh, yeah, this will just go right on top of the camera. Just a nice little, it doesn't, you know, give you, it's not long enough for all your fingers, but it's it's enough, you know, to carry the camera from the top. So, and again, it has built-in screws, so you don't lose, you don't lose them. Yeah, man. This red mag is so tiny. There you go. I mean, it's super tiny. So this is the 480 gigabyte version. The one thing I wish was that the I wish the media was less expensive. This is super super expensive. So um, pretty much like this is more expensive than most DSLRs. So you know by themselves. So it's yeah pretty pretty expensive media. Uh, they have come down recently and price a little bit, but. They do offer different models, one, one terabyte, um, the four, 480, uh, 120, and yeah, I mean, they've been they've been changing up their medias, but this is, I got this one so that I could at least record a decent amount of media with the 8K. Um, I felt like getting anything lower than this would have uh, probably limited my options. What they call it, the OL, PF. This one is the highlight OLPF or the uh, skin tone highlight version. Good for shooting humans with. Uh, this one is the optimized low pass filter. So good for shooting in darker situations. We have a tool right here, hex tool. Uh, this is the case for the standard OLPF. And a heavy duty uh, power supply for it. So. All right, so I wanna thank you for joining me with this uh, unboxing of the Red Epic W. I'm super excited for it. I've always wanted a red camera and it just happened to be the time that I was able to do it. So really thankful that I could do that and uh, really looking forward to what I'm able to get out of this camera and uh, just create some amazing images with it. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.